Well, howdy, folks. Welcome back to the series I've been doing on Modular Synth 101. If you haven't seen the previous videos, please check out the playlist link in the description. Now, we've talked about VCOs like this one. We've talked about VCAs like this one. We've talked about VCFs like this one over here. And we've talked about envelope generators like this one. Today, I'm going to patch those four together to create a basic synth voice that you'll find in most of the synthesizers on the market. Now we need something to create our pitches, and so I'm gonna use a sequencer today. Now I realize we haven't talked about sequencers yet, that's coming in a future video, but what you need to know for today is there's two signals that come out of the sequencer. This purple cable is the pitch signal, and this red cable is the gate signal. And think about this, if it was a keyboard, the purple cable would control which key that you hit on the keyboard, and the red cable would be how long you hold that key down for, okay? So let's do color coding here. We'll start with the purple cable here, and I'll plug it into the voltage input of the oscillator, and then I'll take a waveform output from the oscillator, and I will plug that in to the input of our filter right here. Okay, and then we will take the low pass output from our filter, and we'll plug that up here into our VCA. And if I bring the volume up, we should hear, we hear the melody, we can understand the keys that are being pressed, but if I stop the sequencer, that last note just rings out. So if I take our VCA here, and I plug it into our envelope generator, then we see the uh, the music stops, but then as soon as I plug the gate signal into the envelope generator, there it is. And now if I stop the sequencer, it stops. And since I have an envelope generator now, I can change the length and make the notes tie together, or I can make them really, really short, or somewhere in the middle. Addition, I've got the filter here, so I can do that basic timbre shift that you do with a filter. But if I don't want to sit there twisting the knob, I can take the same envelope used for the VCA, plug it into the input of the filter here, and now we get something that sounds really synthy. Probably sounds like a lot of things you've heard on albums. There you go.